Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are doing a little weekend project. I know I'm always working every other day, but we're doing a weekend project. My buddy George has this uh, Model A truck behind us that he's been working on for a number of years and has a little bit of a stalled project he needed some help with. I've held him a couple times before. We decided to take a weekend and knock out a bunch of work on this thing to get him over the hump, if you will. So check out the truck. It is a uh, really cool little Model A pickup that you got from one of your buddies owned it, right? From a number of years? Yeah. Okay, so George got this from one of his, his uh, an older friend of his owned this, and he eventually in a roundabout way got the truck. He started building in a little hot rod, a um, little flathead that's rebuilt with two twos, and it's channeled down over with a T5 trans, a speedway adapter. Um, and you can see he got pretty far along with this chassis. It's got a big Z in it, sits really killer. And, uh, but he's kind of stuck with the tools and stuff he has at home. He's at the point now where he needs to make a floor trans tunnel. Um, he needs to adjust a few things. He needs a torch and some stuff like that. So we decided to, like I said, knock out a bunch of stuff this weekend on it. So we're gonna take you guys along, show you some of the stuff. This is stuff that people run into themselves and are building these cars that um, you buy parts that are, you know, from Speedway or wherever that are kind of universal, but they usually need adjustment. And that's what we're running into here. So we're gonna tackle some of those problems and hopefully help you guys if you have similar problems, show you uh, some fairly straightforward ways to attack it. But the first thing we're gonna take care of is he has a, it's hard to see here, but it has like an adjustable trans mount that's on this that uses a pinch bolt to tighten it down. Um, that's gonna end up running into his floors a little bit. And also just for strength reasons, I'm not super into that idea because when you pinch this bolt down, if you pinch it too much, it could actually crack this or cause an issue. He has one over there that he's a little worried about might be cracked from just from the flexing. So we're gonna weld this all before we make a, a floor. Um, and then also his pedals are just hitting the steering column here. So you got speed well, Speedway kit, but hits the steering column. So we need to adjust that. And really the best way to do it is with uh, a torch and uh, move stuff over and around the same way guys have been doing it forever. So we're gonna take care of that stuff first. Then we got a big old piece of 16 gauge here that George bought. We're gonna pattern out the floor, make a real simple floor, nothing crazy like I do in some videos. I'm just gonna do some simple bead work probably in it and then uh, get it all set up and dropped in the car. So let's see where we get. has a little bit more of a gap under it with the way it's pinched or whatever. Yeah. So it's just welding. Well, it's not it's bad, it's just welding differently than the other one was. How does that gap there? Way better. This other Pull that, just kidding, pull that lever over. 
want me to pull it harder? Yeah. That's as far as I can go. You want me to take it off and go more? Or yeah. Because yeah. it's going to come back. that cools now what we can do is we'll bring it we'll heat it up here and bring it back so it's straight up and then that should put your pedal like right here right so if I heat and then we have it already bent enough that if I have to I can heat a little further down Push but, it but I think we have plenty I think now we can just heat it up in here to bring it back and then it'll just have a little Z to it and you'll still be pushing straight on it'll just be yeah Z a little bit. This one won't take near as much as the lot thinner up here. Yeah. Just wait a minute, it'll take a few. Look out, baby. We can straighten it. Okay. Alright, right stop right there. Now see if you give it a twist the other way. There you go. Go warm. There you go. How's that? Is it too far out or is it pretty good? I don't think so. I don't think it's like... Yeah, that's gonna be probably perfect. Okay. Cool. Alright. I need a challenge. Alright, so let's have you sit in the truck and then we'll try these pedals and just see how your leg is extended. Alright, so extend your brake, your right leg all the way out, like beyond the pedal. So right there is beyond where you want your foot to be. So if you come back and put your, put that on the pedal, so that's, let's say three quarters extended. So you could only put your foot maybe Another two inches? Yeah, a little bit further. So if we notch just at the bottom there and let that pedal pass through the firewall, you'd have full extension and that should be enough. So what we thought you needed, it was probably too much. Yeah. Because you don't want to be at the bottom of the brake travel when your leg's yeah, hyperextended. Yeah. So how about, yeah, like that's too far. So you yeah. want to come back just a little bit. Like right you there. said, maybe an inch. So if we have the pedal sitting up, I know the angle's wrong, like there, see how your foot is on that. That okay. would pretty much be where you want to touch it. Yeah, so that's not bad, and then you have all the way to there, and if we give it, if we give you just a, another like inch or two of travel, with a good brake setup, it should, the pedal shouldn't move much, you know, that much. Yeah, so that one will have to short, but I'd like to get the seat in, because you're going to be sitting up quite a bit, and that's going to change the angle of your leg too, because it feels uncomfortable, because you're kind of like... I'm lower. Yeah, so if you sit up, it may not be as bad, so I'd hate to... Now we got the pedals swinging roughly where we want, we can make small adjustments after the floor's in, and you got a seat, some kind of seat frame in, or, you know, something. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good, so that way we're butted up in the back. I'm forward here. You over it or behind it? Or behind this line. It really needs to be like there. It was probably that uh, the way it kicks out there or something. Yeah. Oh, it's still good there. Okay. Actually, your your this is bowed probably out a little bit, so we can just push it 
but it doesn't really matter. We can push it back. I'm pretty good now. Yeah, I mean, we're still over, so if we slid it back. I'm back now. I'm good. Same problem. And that's the problem. What else is that? Looks good. This is why I got the monster brake.
So yesterday we got all our panel patterns cut out for the floor and uh, got, George just got done cutting, marking, bending these uh, little 90s we're going to be using. So I'm making these little flanges, they're going to actually spot weld to our pan and then spot weld to the back wall in the cab and that's going to help give it a lot of strength. Um, so it's not just suspended on the edges here. So we brought a bunch of plug welds across, plug welds across there. And that will help support his pans in the back. Um, and then everything else pretty much cut. So we're gonna, we're gonna use my Rotex punch and probably punch a bunch of holes in here so we can rosette weld right into these sub rails that he had made. So we get a nice strong Weld. I'll probably do a couple stitches along the edges as well. But by doing all that, this will get this rear pan in place. You can see we got a nice tunnel that we built all in one piece out of that, so that's really killer. Um, eventually, we're going to be making a tunnel for the front here that will be removable so he can service the car, of course, um, if he needs to. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to get all these holes punched, get this rear one welded in, and then we can work on getting the front one, same thing, uh, get it all fitted in and, and welded and uh, we can actually sit in this thing on the floor here soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yay. All right, so we got the floors uh, spot welded in. Just did this simple, very simple flat floors in this thing. And we have everything rosette welded in here. Uh, we put those brackets in the back there um, and uh, welded all that in. So this thing is nice and sturdy now. We have the uh, opening there uh, for the tunnel that we'll have to do in, in another uh, session of work on the car, but now, George has some sort of floor that he can start working on building a, a seat frame in here out of wood um, to kind of imitate the original, and but it'll be sitting like way down on the floor. So that's good. That was a big step. We got the pedals. I'll show you guys on the other side. Um, it's probably hard to see in the video it, when we were doing it, but we heated and bent his pedals. So now he's got he's got all kinds of clearance here with his with his brake pedal for throw. Clutch is the same thing. We got all this throw here. So 
what we have to do, a bunch of stuff is just, you have to do one step to get to another step. So we got these pretty decent. Um, we have plenty of throw with the way we cut out the floor, but um, we don't know how long this needs to be, the actual length from here to here. So he's got to get his seat in here and get all that set so he can sit in the car and see exactly where this is at. We also need to get a dash in here so that we can get a uh, steering column sitting where it's going to be. So that's probably the next round of work to help George get a little further is he has a, what, like a 33 truck or 34 pickup dash for this that we're gonna mount in here. Then we can put a steering drop to the column and build some bracing in and we'll have a seat frame. And then we can get the final feel of the pedal and length and everything like that. So nice nice uh, little up, update on his truck getting it going. And then we also worked on, we have this, he wants to build a set of torque tube headers. So out of our stash, he, he picked this up and we have a bunch of mandrel bends he got. So we just played with a little bit today cutting this tube here and uh, one of his other projects is going to be you can see we got that mounted up and he has this pipe coming down and he's going to have these you know torque tube headers off the car there like that and then we got to work on building pipes from there and there to go in so he's got to get a little more material but a lot of brainstorming going on uh this weekend but got a nice up update going on George's truck that's been sitting since we haven't touched this since like COVID we were talking about so it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a nice nice uh, little upgrade now that he's got floors so uh, that's a big help George George helped me with the floors in the in the shop and I'm like dude we got to get your truck over here I got to repay you for sure so it was a good time to get this thing in here so got some work done hopefully doing some of this work this is super basic like this is not like crazy bead rolling we're doing. He used a little thicker material so he could use the flat floors because George is covering it all up and is just a truck he wants to get on the road. So, uh, so hopefully some of that with the pedals and different things gave any of you guys that are just starting out, maybe gave you some ideas of what you can do. Probably shows you that you need an oxyacetylene torch. I preach that on this channel a lot because you can do so much with it. So thank you guys for following, I appreciate it. Catch you later.